day is compare. So the word of the day is compare. Who can tell me? What is compare in Japanese? Do you know? Anyone? Compare. Anyone tell me? Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, what was it? Nice and loud for everybody. Oh, very good. So, she saved you all dictionary time. So, um, today's word compare is hikakusuru in Japanese. So, to compare two things, to judge them as such. Okay, so, uh, whenever we compare two things in English, there's a few different grammars that we can use. Today we are going to be looking at two, two grammars to compare two things. So for our first grammar, we have Jill and we have Jim. They're very nice, they're very happy, they're studying. Now Jill and Jim are both 176 centimeters tall. So they're both 176 centimeters tall. So they're the same, they're the same. So in English, if we were going to compare Jill and Jim, we would have to use the following grammar. So we would say, Jill is as tall as Jim. We're taking notes, right? We're taking notes right in our, our, our sheet. So Jill is as tall as Jim. So our first grammar is as, adjective, as. As, adjective, as. So as, adjective, as. So we use this grammar when two things are equal. So two things are equal. So we all know that sign, right? From math class, equal. So in English, this means equal. So like, you know, 2 plus 2 equals 4. So equal. So equal. All right, so um, any questions about this grammar? So this is the grammar that we use when two things are equal. Let's move on to grammar. Two. Let's move on to grammar two. So in grammar two, if we flip our paper over, turn your paper over, turn your paper over, turn your paper over. There you go. Um, as you get that, Bill is as smart as Brenda. Very good. All right. So in grammar two, we have Mr. Yamada and Mr. Tanaka. So Mr. Yamada and Mr. Tanaka are very happy because recently, recently. It was Mr. Yamada and Mr. Tanaka's birthday. Their birthday was yesterday. Yay, they're so happy. They had cake and, you know, fun times with the family. But Mr. Yamada is now 40 years old. And Mr. Tanaka is now 65 years old. So in our last example, remember Jill and Jim, they're both the same. But in this example, Mr. Yamada is not as old as Mr. Tanaka. So Mr. Yamada is not as old as Mr. Tanaka. Mr. Yamada is not as old as Mr. Tanaka. So our basic grammar is not as adjective as. Not as adjective as is our basic grammar. So for this, it's the less than sign. Less than sign. So two is less than four. Less than. Okay, so there's a really key important point for this grammar. So in our last grammar, your word order did not matter as much. But for this grammar, um, notice that Mr. Yamada and Mr. Tanaka, where they are in the sentence, means a lot. If we changed it, the meaning will change. So notice that Mr. Yamada. Mr. Yamada is the down person. So Mr. Mr. Yamada, Mr. Tanaka. So Mr. Yamada is not as old. So he's down, not as old, because he's only 40 years old, yeah? So he's younger. But Mr. Tanaka is up. He's up. No compare. So Mr. Tanaka comes second. Mr. Tanaka comes second. If we change this, it would be wrong. If we said Mr. Tanaka is not as old as Mr. Yamada, the meaning would be different. It would be wrong. Okay? So when we write our practice, please keep this in mind. Any questions? Alright, well let's see how you guys do on our practice.